There are only five remaining survivors of the USS Arizona. The battleship sank during the attack on Pearl Harbor. 1,100 sailors did not survive. George Condes fought Japanese aircraft during the attack on Pearl Harbor from the nearby USS Tracy. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis back out on the road in Tampa where a Veterans Day tribute honored a sailor. On the morning before Veterans Day, underneath Old Glory, hundreds gathered to say a public thank you to a man who lived the history book. When you look at that picture, what comes to mind? <laughs> what a good looking sailor that was. <laughs> Whatever happened to him. <laughs> 96 years old and still kicking, George Condes has seen pretty much everything. I can see it right here in front of me right now <laughs> as they were coming out. Yeah. Those kind of days you, you don't forget. George was just 20 years old when the Japanese bombs started falling on Pearl Harbor. I was a third class gunner's mate. That was my rate at that time. And my battle station was up on the 50 caliber machine gun up in the flying bridge. You know, my dad doesn't see himself as a hero and never talked about it that way. He always thought as, you know, I was a gunner on a destroyer and that was my job and I had to do what I had to do. So I guess I don't really think of him as a hero, but I think I'm more proud. The sight of hundreds of planes flying in from every direction, the sheer chaos that he witnessed that day. His heroics are worth praising, but Pearl Harbor wasn't his final fight. My dad said when I was first diagnosed, he said, just remember I've beat it twice. So you can do this. Fortunate to survive two bouts of cancer, you know, lung and, and prostate. And may God bless the United States of America. Fittingly, Moffitt Cancer Center, the place that helped him fight the disease twice, recognized George this morning. The Japanese threw 392 aircraft at us that day. Underneath that flag, in, in two he fought ways. for it so long ago. God bless you all. Thank you for being here. On the road at Moffitt, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News.